Today is Monday, April 29th, 2019, and my people, my people, it's about that time. Live from the USA, hoping you get paid every day. This is the boss of Bitcoin, the Cristo of crypto. It's your boy BK. And if you don't like me, you must not like money. Thank you for joining me, everybody. I wanted to go back uh, to some of the content we've been making over the couple years. You know, we've been together uh, and, and really take a look at the macroeconomics of the moment. <clears throat> I do believe that we are on the cusp of the greatest um, transition of currency in the history of humanity. Like my man Drake say, what a time to be alive. Uh, and, and that's what this episode is about to, about to uh, speak more to. So if this is your first time tuning in, congratulations, baby. You are now rocking with the best. My name is BK, known as the Crypto Trader. And I'm boss of these charts as you will soon find out every day i grace this microphone with my voice is another day you get the profit as a result so ain't nothing to it but to do it let's go ahead and make this money uh death of the dollar the usd one of the single most important tools of proliferating the debt death and destruction that humanity has accepted as the status quo. And I'm here to tell you it ain't normal. Broke is the new normal. And that sucks. A hundred million plus Americans do not have a job right now. Getting along to get along. Just waiting on Sunday so I can watch some football. Oh, football's... Football still in season? No, football's out, so go baseball. Gonna watch some hockey games. Okay, we don't have hockey. We don't have baseball. Let's turn on Game of Thrones. Bread and circuses for everybody. They look left, you look right. Just keep on being distracted. Keep up with the Kardashians. Don't know your own history. Don't read any books. This is the problem we have. A hundred and two... Americans, and I know this is a global syndication, so we got people watching, listening from all over the world, but right here in Uncle Sam's backyard, people can't find jobs, right? Not in the labor force. See, the problem with trickle-down economics is all too often it don't trickle down far enough. Uh, and this goes back to the early 80s, Right? All my 80s babies coming out of Reaganomics. You know, one of the one of the worst times in the history of our economy, uh, known as stagflation. That's what's happening right now, people. You might not might not have heard it before, but look it up. Stagnant job growth growth with a high rate of inflation, known as stagflation. It's one of the worst things that can happen to an economy, and it's happening right now. Now, we've had about 10 years of uh, high inflation coming out, the, coming out the recession. And nothing has really grown. The rich have gotten richer. Um, you know, so they've grown. Jeff Bezos, oh my God. We love robots at Amazon. Jeff Bezos, oh, you notice, you ever notice, you know, a lot of these puppets don't even get the articles printed about them until they go and buy their own newspaper. Amazon buys Washington Post. All y'all, one year later, you can't get enough Jeff Bezos articles out there. You ever notice that? One hand washed the other. Not in the labor force. 
a hundred thousand thousands. We are knocking on that door. So that's essentially a hundred million people. You know, I don't know why they just don't put the millions on the left side. They, you know, make you add an extra set of commas. Um, but essentially, that's 100 million people. And we've been there since about 2014. Uh, notice that back in 2008, uh, during uh, the financial crisis back there, we were at about 800 million. Now, people will say, oh, we've let all these migrants in and, oh, they don't have jobs. And, oh, what about the illegal workers? Oh, my God. Um I'm not here to argue, speculate on, you know, how they make up these statistics. I'm just here to tell you that this is a fact of life, uh, and it's been for about five years now. Now, granted, they will point the finger, and they will subdivide you as many ways as you want to be subdivided, because one of the rules of division is if you can divide it once, you can divide it forever. Uh, so, yes, you know, the CJBs, you got to dodge the hijack. My man Peter coming on here, you know, throwing out these key terms to just get people all worked up. But the fact of the matter is a hundred million people are broke, desperate, and one pay cycle out of being homeless. Right? And now people who understand the inside of these numbers know that one of the things... Obama did was he changed the way or maybe not him uh, but the big money that was behind Obama he was just a puppet dancing around on stage the ones that was pulling the strings uh, they actually changed the way that these statistics were kept up um, basically by making uh, part-time workers count as full-time employment so essentially you know, you just trying to pay rent. You got three jobs making eight, nine, ten dollars an hour. Each one of them giving you about 15 hours a week just so you can, you know, get 40 or 50 hours a week somewhere. You get counted three times in the way that the numbers <laughs> work. One person working three jobs. That's three jobs in the economy. You know, uh, Obamacare come out. They, they, they make it more expensive to have full time workers. So what do they do? They cut everybody down to part time and just hire more people. You know, oh, we have great job growth. Everybody's a waiter and a waitress. You know what I'm saying? Making $2 an hour plus tips. So, you know, all too often I don't uh, pull up these CJB articles, but, you know, I think it is important to note that this was the case in 2014. So what has changed between now and 2014? Not much, right? Only thing that's changed, and, and you can see it right down there in that red line on the bottom, that's the official uh, job growth, or no, I'm sorry, official unemployment rate. And look at that down to the right. Oh my God, so good, so good, so good. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. But look, that's literally full time workers becoming part time workers and uh, having more than one job uh, to get circulated throughout this fake, fake number a statistic and um up at the blue is actually uh, a more accurate count um and this is actually what donald trump king bobblehead uh referred to as uh you know unemployment as high as 20 30 percent he said that in one of his presidential campaigns this is the statistic that he was referring to and everybody looking at him like oh my god no 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 we're down to two or three percent i saw it on cnn you know so king bobblehead no uh, what's going on behind the scenes, but still nothing is getting done. Uh, the percentage of the population engaged in the labor force is only slightly above what it was during the recession, right? So go back to 2009, 2010, look at that top blue line. We were at 22%. You could go out, draw a straight horizontal line, boom, we right back there. And so this is the shocking reality of right now. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. You need to understand which side of the pendulum you want to be on. Right. And so now I open it up. What do you think will happen? What's going to be the straw that breaks the camel's back in so far as the USD is concerned. Is it the unemployment? You know? Um, is it the stagflation? 
you know, is it something that King Bobblehead will or will not do on behalf of the free world? <laughs> Notice they say free world, but are you really free? <laughs> oh, boy. So this is what I want to open it up in the comments. And then from the comments, I'll do another video. And we'll make this like an ongoing dialogue. Like, what do you see happening in the economy? Like, where in the world are you? Are people free over there? Do people have all these different jobs just trying to pay rent? Do you know somebody living at your mama's house that, that that's on food stamps because they can't go out and get a job? And, and so they got to take a handout from the government and then the floor get raised. And they talking about the people working at the bottom ain't making enough money. So let's raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour. And the people at the top say, that's fine. We'll pay y'all $15 an hour, but we firing half of y'all. So then the government go say, good, let's take them in. <laughs> we, got a, we got a plan for that. You know what I'm saying? And then they turn around two years later and say, oh, we got too many handouts over here. So let's cut the money. We give them down in half. It's literally just a cycle of, of catastrophic uh, chaos. It's ridiculous, right? And that is why we know that these are indeed the end times but if you pay attention to this channel you know that if it's the end of one cycle it has to be the beginning of another and that brings us back to the birth of bitcoin cryptocurrency is the death of currency as it stands today make no mistake about it so make sure you're on the right side of that equation subscribe to this channel right now learn to chart like a boss join the different crypto communities we have set up all over the world free for the people go to boss of bitcoin.com check everything out on the website i'm here for you just the same as you are here for me thank you for listening to these words thank you for being so engaged thank you for like subscribing and sharing this video as well and we're gonna be back tomorrow with another one with that being said it's that time of the day signing out boss boy bk no matter where you stay brazil to bay california all the way back out through jerk money good night good morning and good day Like a boss. Huh? 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 Huh?